Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on UFT automation. In this video, we will look at insight recording. Before we jump into the insight recording, uh, let, uh, let me give you a quick recap on the other recording modes. The normal recording mode, uh, the UFT recognizes the objects and you know it uses the keyboard uh, and also you know any kind of input that you give and it uses the object properties to recognize the object and takes input from the keyboard i mean it does not really track the mouse you know it doesn't matter where the mouse is but it tracks the keyboard and uh, then the analog recording it not only tracks you know anything that happens with the keyboard but it actually also tracks the mouse movement so you know when you move the mouse it actually tracks it completely and then you know the low level recording it records the exact coordinates now with the inside recording this is a little bit different inside recording recognizes the objects based on its appearance and not its properties so you might run into situations where you know you're trying to you know record certain activity and uh, all of a sudden you might notice that you know a certain uh, activity steps might not be recorded into the UFT you know maybe you're trying to click on something or entering something in a text box and you know, it doesn't it just pretty much does not recognize the object and when you do the next activity it starts recognizing so <clears throat> Uh, let me go ahead and you know show you uh, or demonstrate it for you. Uh, that way, it's uh, easy to grasp and understand. So I have a website called a fullcontact.com, and I'll show you you know what happens when when UFT does not recognize an object. So I'm going to do a normal recording first. Okay, I'm going to do normal recording. I'll hit record go to this website I want to add a contact I'm clicking on add contact look at nothing was recorded there's zero I'm gonna put their um, global e training It's a little bit slow. Okay, that you do. I've used uh, four text fields and I clicked on a button called uh, Add Contact, but it did not, uh, you know, recognize anything there. So I'll stop the recording. Let's uh, review it real quick. So in the normal recording, it, you know, I entered globally training as a first name and comma as a last name. Entered the company name and the title but you know it did not uh, track or it did not record when i clicked on the uh, add button and let me run the script and demonstrate it for you so if i run the script obviously you know it will go to the web page but it will look for uh, you know that particular object and it's not finding it but if i go here and if i manually i'm, I'm actually i just clicked it then it started you know populating those four fields because I clicked on the add uh, title uh, sorry add contact you know button so let me demonstrate this one more time for you I'm gonna hit play and it's trying to find for that particular object which is edit first name you know it's trying to look for that uh, you know, text box so now let me go ahead and stop the script and you know use insight recording to recognize that ad because all I need is insight recording for this one step so what I will do is 
now uh, I will you know record just that one step which is clicking that add contact link using insight recording okay, I'm going to switch it to insight recording go to this page and click on add contact so now I have uh, add contact page on the right hand side I'll stop the recording and let's review the steps here so as you can see it says you know uh, browse full title you know the browser dot inside object so it's you know recognizing some object and click and it's clicking on it because I clicked on it so but it's it's actually recognizing the object based on its appearance so if I were to run the script now you will actually see that it actually clicks there and starts adding those fields so run could not uh, syntax error okay let me stop it so here that was a comment this is Lola let's move these steps for better clarity so these are these two lines are were generated uh, using inside recording so let me go ahead and play it now so as you can see as you can see you know it now recognized that object and uh, clicked on it add contact and you know start entering data and I uh, know this itself by you know this is not required because this should take care of it so let me uh, probably while recording I would have clicked it twice let me you know kind of play this and prove that it actually works so the very first step is inside recorded object clicked on it and started you know entering the data well that worked so um, again you know uh, don't use inside recording just because you have the functionality you know use it when your normal recording fails to recognize an object that's when you know this uh, uh, inside recording comes real handy and you know there's also other way to do it you know using virtual objects we will you know look at uh, that in a separate video well I hope uh, you know you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next